Nice swordfish on, guys. Oh, I like the Decent fish. Nice fish, actually. One of the most insane jumps I've ever seen, you guys. Crazy jump. I don't know. We'll see. We got a swordfish, guys. Yeah. Nice one. Chunky one. Oh. Good one. Being good now, Larry. We're on the board, you guys. Swordfish on the deck on the new food. Biggest one so far for the new boat. Woo! Swordfish and tuna, and you know where to be found. <laughs> Big swordfish off the Amrata, you guys. We're eating good tonight. Here we are. <laughs> so, the fish is too big to put in the cooler, you guys. We're gonna put them in the body bag here. Ice and down. a big sleeping bag. Meat to spoil, we got an insulated bag and load them with ice and go from there. So we got a 166 pound swordfish here, you guys. Caught him in 1,650 feet of water. We're gonna fillet him up. And we're gonna eat him for dinner. Perfect eating size. Oh my God, it's a pumpkin oh, too. Yes. We got a pumpkin swordfish. Check that out, guys. Look how orange that is. We have got a pumpkin swordfish right here, right now. Okay, bring me home. Up. We are going down his backbone first. We're gonna go up here. Look how orange that is. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at that, guys. Holy moly. We have got a pumpkin. We have got a pumpkin. Look at that meat, you guys. Look how orange that is. It's like salmon. It's gonna be delicious. It is gonna be delicious. You know, some people ask, oh, why are you cleaning on that dirty dock when people walk? You know, I don't want to pick up a 150 pound fish and put it on the table and hurt my back. The skin's on the ground. We don't eat the skin, so it doesn't really matter. It's not dirty. This dock is brand new. What we'll colors that, Jeff? Like pumpkin. <laughs> We're gonna kind of quarter this fish and do smaller pieces because it's easier than doing that whole big slab. I cannot believe how beautiful this meat is, though. It's gorgeous. And look at that right there. That is gorgeous. Pumpkin swordfish off of Almorada right now. Look at you swinging. <laughs> He was asking oh, about a pumpkin swordfish today. He said he's caught a few. 
Yeah. And we got our pumpkin today. I mean, look there at that. Go. That's gorgeous. Beautiful pumpkin, pumpkin, huh? That's going to be great. Awesome. Beautiful. Yes. Then we're going to go put this in the shade for you guys, right? And we'll go bag it up there. Chase and I, who have refined palates, have done a blind taste test and could taste the difference between pumpkin and non-pumpkin. Nick, however, doesn't eat enough good food to know the difference. My palate is not refined enough. No. Your Look palate, at that, your palate that is, is weak. Just, that is gorgeous. <laughs> Might be the mercury content in it. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> got a little head chunk there, too. Primer right there. Tenderloin out of his head. Yeah. That's where the harpoon went in there, you guys. Fish came up jumping. Got harpoon there. We got it back, Chase. Nick, tell you about the time that he harpooned the swordfish off the bow. That's half. That's half a slap right there, you guys. That's probably 25 pounds. Gorgeous. To the shade and the table, Chase. Big swordfish, well, nice size swordfish, but a pumpkin, orange beauty. Look at that. Look at that. All right, you guys, we just played the swordfish. It's a pumpkin, real orange. We'll see you back in the kitchen, back at home. We're about to make bacon wrap barbecue swordfish on the Traeger. Stay tuned. This is Sadie. Sadie, where's the fish? Where's the fish? The fish. There's Sarah. She is making bacon. Everything's better with bacon. So we brought home some of that pumpkin swordfish. When we say pumpkin, the meat's real orange. They believe it's from the diet that they eat, a lot of those royal red shrimp. Um, so that's what we go with. We're gonna cook the bacon in the oven for about five minutes just to cook about halfway through. Then we're gonna put it on the Traeger around the swordfish. We're gonna take out all the bloodline. I got most of it out when I clean it. There's a little bit left there. But we're gonna cut it about an inch wide in our steaks. And we're gonna cook the bacon halfway through in the oven. And then we're gonna bacon wrap little cubes with this. Cut that like that. So every little piece like this, we're gonna wrap a piece of bacon around and put barbecue sauce on it and on the Traeger it goes. Look at that, that's just gorgeous. That's beautiful. Hey, it looks like the swordfish on my ring. Yeah, swordfish there too. Oh yeah, looking good. Bacon. What we got there, Sarah? Bacon. There is. He harpooned that fish. So we got all our swordfish right here, cut into little like ice cube sized bits. We're gonna cut this bacon in half with a pair of scissors. And we cooked it in the oven. And we're gonna wrap this bacon around the swordfish. Skewer it. So you take a piece of swordfish, take your bacon, you wrap it around there like that. Take your skewer, just like that. We got a bunch more of these to go, but you guys kind of get the point there. Oh yeah. So we just put bacon around like 30 pieces of swordfish, you guys, you can see it all. Now the fun part, now we're gonna put barbecue sauce on top of it. Put it on there like that. Then we take the baster. <laughs> you baste it around there like that. Look at that, we're getting it good now. Look at that. You know I mean business? Cause I got a hat on and an apron. I got an apron on. Barbecue swordfish and regular swordfish. Ooh, that's hot. Let's get them going. Throw a couple pieces of the regular on there. Listen to that sizzle. Oh yeah. We're gonna place all these barbecue ones on here. We're gonna put them on for probably six to seven minutes total. We're gonna come back out in three or four minutes and maybe add a little more barbecue sauce to them. We'll probably roll them one time too. Voila. The 
fish has been on you guys for three minutes. We're gonna flip it, put a little more barbecue sauce on it, and check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, Ooh, that's hot. But it is a pork to do it. A little barbecue on it, perfect. Give it another uh, two or three minutes and then we're gonna be good, you guys. Look at that though, I mean, check that out, that looks good. This is gonna be delicious. The time has come. Let's get the swordfish. Look at that, folks. Tell me that right there doesn't look good. Check that out. We catch a lot of swordfish here in Amarada. We gotta come up with a lot of ways to cook them. Bacon wrap barbecue swordfish. The last piece there, you guys. This fish was really healthy. You can see the fat coming out of them. That was a pumpkin swordfish. Just really well-shaped fish. You know, it was 68 inches, really round, but let's bring that in there. We're gonna see if Sarah gives it the green light. She's the hardest one to please. Shut down, begin. We got sweet potatoes. We got corn. Sassy Sarah. She's putting bacon wrap swordfish on her plate. Taste test coming up. Maybe Sadie gets a bite. You want a bite, Sadie? Very good. Good? Mm -hmm. How good? Nine and a half out of ten. Oh, wowzers. Chase is getting him a plate now, too. Sarah gave it a nine and a half out of ten. That's tough to do, as you guys have been watching. The only reason why it wasn't a ten was because the little tip of my skewer was burnt. <laughs> Bacon wrap barbecue swordfish. It's good. Our bacon wrap piece going down. It's a moment of truth. Best swordfish I've ever had. Come on now. It's excellent. Everybody loves a bacon wrap swordfish, you guys. Obviously, anything with bacon on it is really good, but something about the texture and the consistency of swordfish on the grill, some barbecue sauce, some bacon, you can't beat that. I'm gonna try a bite. I'm gonna sit down and eat. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Right, Sadie? Yeah. Say bye, Sadie. Say Wave. bye. Wave. Yay. Cheeks full of fish. Yeah. A little bit of swordfish for you, too. Fresh swordfish. <laughs>